What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about should you design your website first or should you develop the website first? This is kind of like the question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, that might be kind of a corny comparison, but the reality is when you're creating your website, and I'm talking in particular to the coders, the front end developers and the back end developers and the full stack developers, what is your workflow? When you take on a brand new project, are you developing the site first? Are you working on the back end side of it? Or are you coding it on the front end side? Now the answer to this question can be different for everybody. And it really depends on what you're focusing on first. Are you a front end developer by trade? Or do you focus primarily on the back end? Are you a full stack web developer or are you working on a team? All these questions will determine what your workflow is gonna be like. Now, what is the difference between designing a website and developing a website? Well, when you're designing a website, you're first focusing on the front end style of it, the way it's going to look in the browser. You're working primarily with the logo, the images. You're gonna determine what fonts you're gonna be using on the website, the color scheme for the site itself, and the layout options and how it's gonna respond or be displayed depending on the device that's uh, viewing the website. Now, if you're a backend developer, you're primarily gonna be working with the form processing, the validation and sanitation of user generated input, the security of the website, what HTML should be outputted to the browser, what content should be displayed depending on the type of page or post or content that's being uh, requested from the browser. You're gonna be working with the database, you're gonna be working with the create, read, update, and delete process, AKA CRUD. You're probably gonna be dealing with some type of cache mechanism and other aspects of service side coding so now the obvious answer is if you're a designer first then you're probably gonna be working on the front end side of it first and the same goes for the service side coders out there the back-end developers if you find yourself being more of a back-end developer that's what you're gonna focus on but the ultimate goal is to make sure you're optimizing your workflow making sure you're as productive as possible because I have a belief that time is money and the more productive you can be with your time that means you could either to make more money or have more time to do the things you want to do. So if you're a front end designer, you should probably have all your color schemes laid out. You should have the font types that you're going to use on a consistent basis based on the different types of websites you create. You should have templates for your layout options, whether it's a full screen, full width uh, display of your content, whether it has a sidebar on the right hand side, sidebar on the left hand side, two sidebars, if it has widget areas on the bottom, and you should make sure your templates are fully responsive in design. Now, obviously every project is gonna be a little bit different. The color schemes used might be different. The font choices might be different. But if you already have your code snippets set up and your template file set up, then you're gonna find that it's gonna be a lot smoother in terms of creating your mockups for the uh, demo sites you create. And the same thing for the backend developers. You should have your code snippets set up so that way whenever you have a contact form you have to create, you know how you're gonna validate that data. You know how you're gonna sanitize it. You already have set up the process of dealing with user generated content or user generated input. If you're connecting to a database, you're going to make sure that your code is going to be secure and optimized for that process of creating, reading, updating, and deleting items and content from the database. Now my workflow, I'm a WordPress developer. I'm a full stack web developer, but I focus on WordPress. I create custom themes and custom plugins that I use on the websites I create. Now to make my workflow smoother, what I like to do is I have my starter theme. And this is something that I custom coded and I developed so that way I can start every project with a theme that has all the key aspects of a website, or at least the way it looks on the front end. And then I chat with the client, I look at what's uh, being requested, and then I fine tune the areas where the client wants something to be changed. Whether it's a different font, whether it's a different color scheme, a different layout option. And then I also have the custom plugins I created that also deal with the different types of functionality that might be requested. And then beyond that, I have a suite of uh, third-party developed plugins that I use on my websites. And I have the proper licenses so that way I can use them on my client sites. This way, when I get a project or I get a website that I'm gonna be working on, I have all my key components. I have all my key starting points. That way, when I'm designing it and developing it, I get it done as fast as possible. But I'm not sacrificing quality and I'm making sure to focus on security. Because while most clients will focus on the way a website looks, as a developer, it's up to you to make sure that it's optimized, performs well, and is secure. So to recap, 
cap if you're a designer you're going to design the front end first if you're a back-end developer you're going to develop the back end first if you're a full stack whatever workflow you find is best for you stick with that fine tune it make sure you have your code snippet set up make sure you create your template files and it's probably a good idea to have a collection of demo sites already set up for the various types of websites that exist out there because you're going to find that while every website is different they have a couple of key elements you have your header area you have your navigation you might have a large hero image towards the top you're gonna have some content towards the middle section or the left hand side you're gonna have a right sidebar you might have some widgets underneath and then you're gonna have your footer area now some of the tools i like to use are something as simple as this a nice easy to use drawing pad you get one of these and you can just uh create a mock-up of a website now this is not the greatest mock-up this is not the greatest sketch I'm not an artist but you don't need to be an artist to get the basic flow of how you want your website to look then notebooks help out a lot you could jot down your ideas anything that pops to mind you could just put them in your notebook and then you can refer to them later on it's also a good idea that maybe you keep a notebook for every website you create and then you name it this is the Pixum web website or this is the real estate website you're working on either way you have a dedicated notebook that's uh dedicated to that particular website project that way you don't have to fumble through the pages to find the uh project you're trying to locate the information on then of course you could also use tools like photoshop if you want to lay out the design of it or you could just work in the browser now obviously local development is better than working on a live production website that's called cowboy coding and i definitely don't recommend it you want to make sure you're working locally at all times and then once you're sure your code is good once you know it's optimized once you know it's secure once you know it meets the specifications of the client that's when you push it to production all right so hopefully you found this video helpful i just wanted to chat about should you design a website first or develop the website first what is your workflow everybody's workflow is going to be a little bit different what works for me might not be something that works for you and yes i've been doing this for a number of years now but you know there's other people that have workflows that might be better optimized And if your workflow is more optimized, then share them down below in the comment section. So what do you do first? Do you design your website? Do you develop your website? Do you already have your templates already set up and your code snippets ready for you to use? Share your thoughts down below. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that notification bell. That way, whenever I create a new video, you'll be notified. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.